Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to tell you if this game's with your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Silent Hill Downpour, the last mainline Silent Hill game ever. Is Downpour clear skies, or did it drown in its own ambition? Let's find out. Silent Hill Downpour is a 2012 PS360 game, and also the second and last game from Vatra Games, as well as the final mainline game in the Silent Hill series. At least until Silent Hill F comes out, if that never happens. You play as Murphy, a convict who starts the game off shanking somebody in the shower. On the way to another penitentiary, the bus crashes and Murphy escapes into Silent Hill. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? The story is kind of a mess. The whole plot basically revolves around whether or not Murphy did the thing that landed him in jail or was framed. And this is a minor spoiler, but whether he did or didn't changes depending on which ending you get. This means the entire story has to work in both scenarios, which frankly it doesn't. The attempt to recontextualize throws off a bunch of the story's beats as it was clearly designed around Murphy being innocent. Outside of the story, Downpour also tries some new things. After a lengthy intro sequence that plays similar to the linear sections of previous Silent Hill games, you're tossed into several large open zones in the streets of the town to freely explore and even do some honest to god side quests. As expected, there's monsters and such ready to pop out, with more appearing when it rains with the game's dynamic weather. The smaller side scares are honestly some of the game's best stuff, as they're little micro horror stories that do well in their little contained experiences. Combat is extremely clunky. The Z targeting from Homecoming is gone, which is good, but they apparently took inspiration from the original games because this combat never feels like you're in control. Murphy can both attack and throw the weapon he finds, and like Origins, they break after a few hits and have to be replaced. Weapons are also often used to open secret doors or solve puzzles, which makes it annoying when they break, and there's also very, very little ammo for guns this time, so you're mostly going to be hitting stuff. In the other world, Murphy is often chased by some darkness ball entity, with those sections playing out similar to Shattered Memories chase sequences. It's honestly kind of frustrating as the game loves to put enemies or slam doors in your face. And really not much more to say about Downpour. It takes a lot of stuff from previous Western Silent Hills, but also tries to do a bit of its own thing, with its gameplay, visual visuals, and themes. So what did I like about Silent Hill Downpour? Well, being able to explore the town and it being more open really helps evoke an atmosphere of loneliness, which is a bit different than the other Silent Hills, but I kind of vibe with it. On that note, things like the Otherworld transitions look fantastic. The Otherworld is also more directly tailored to Murphy rather than it being a recreation of the place he's at at the moment, which I enjoyed. And lastly, I do appreciate that they tried something different. They didn't shove Pyramid Head in for no reason, though it does kind of have an equivalent that shows up. They made an open world with side quests and incentives to explore and tied it to its own mythos. It's bordering on on a reboot, and honestly I applaud them for it. When it comes to the bad, this game is not scary whatsoever, and the enemies in particular are very bland, which sucks as the monster design in the Silent Hill games has been a highlight since the beginning. Ghost police cars. It's just weak. Additionally, there are so many frustrating design choices I can't say them all here. Weapons degrading sucks, especially when they're required to open areas, controls feel bizarre, the story is a giant mess, and the whole game feels like it's gonna fall apart at any moment. And lastly, this game runs really, really bad on native hardware, specifically the PS PS3 version I tried. It is back compat on Series X, but physical only, probably because it has a corn song so they had to take it off digital. And while that version does run much better, it's still extremely janky and buggy throughout the entire game. As you know, I rate games here on a three point scale, must play, maybe consider, and don't bother. And I'll be honest, I have a bit of a soft spot for Downpour. It really tried to do something new and not just rest on the laurels of the Team Silent games, and the idea of an open world horror game is cool, and it worked really well for The Evil Within 2. But ambition doesn't fix the fact that this game is a technical mess and has some bizarre design choices along with a mediocre story. Revisiting it made me realize I don't ever really want to play this game again. I'm leaving you out in the cold, Downpour. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Have you played Silent Hill Downpour? This game, like Homecoming, I've heard is extremely polarizing. So if you really enjoyed Downpour, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. But regardless, go out there about whether you want to play Silent Hill Downpour.